Is Earth being watched by something not of this world? Officially, no. The object, uh, if it's technological, it would maneuver. It will have some artificial lights. September 15th, 2025. At 1430 GMT, a classified briefing at NASA Goddard goes silent when the James Webb Space Telescope delivers data that changes everything we thought we knew about 3i Atlas. The interstellar visitor that already triggered Webb's first emergency override in years has crossed a line that separates natural phenomena from something far more unsettling. Internal NASA communications leaked to science journals reveal growing alarm among senior researchers who privately admit they're dealing with an object that challenges fundamental assumptions about visitors from other star systems. 3. I Atlas isn't behaving like any comet in recorded history. Instead of slowing down as it approaches perihelion, it's accelerating faster, following a trajectory so precise, it appears to be steering itself toward a specific destination in the inner solar system. What exactly is 3i Atlas? And why is its behavior becoming more artificial with each passing week? Webb's extended observation campaign has captured data that mission planners never expected to see, revealing internal structures that no cosmic collision could create, and electromagnetic signatures that suggest this visitor might be the first confirmed evidence that intelligence exists beyond Earth. The detection timeline began on August 6th, with an emergency override that caught 3i Atlas spewing carbon dioxide at eight times normal levels, along with nickel without iron, in ratios that defied every existing model. But the September observations revealed anomalies that made those earlier discoveries look routine. The numbers started streaming in at 0840 GMT on September 12th. Webb's near-infrared spectrograph had been tracking 3i Atlas for 72 continuous hours, measuring velocity changes with unprecedented precision. The astrometry team found the object accelerating at 0.24 meters per second squared, exactly double the rate measured during the August emergency observations. Natural comets don't behave this way. When ice sublimates in the vacuum of space, it creates random, chaotic jets that push the parent body in unpredictable directions. 3i Atlas shows none of this chaos. The acceleration curve is smooth, controlled, almost mechanical in its precision. Mission analyst Sarah Chen at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory ran the numbers through every comet model in the database. None fit. Pan-STARRS triangulation confirmed what Webb detected. The object's trajectory had shifted from a natural hyperbolic orbit to something that defied orbital mechanics. 3i Atlas was making course corrections that required knowledge of where it wanted to go. JPL quietly ran impact probability calculations. The results remained classified, but astronomical forums buzz with leaked orbital plots showing a close approach to Earth's orbital path in early 2026. Webb's infrared instruments revealed even more disturbing data. Deep infrared imaging at 4.7 microns showed a hollow core riddled with geometric cavities that no natural process could create. The voids weren't random impact craters but showed deliberate organization, chambers arranged in patterns that suggested engineering rather than cosmic accident. Principal investigator Maria Santos at the European Space Agency ran the structural maps through every geological formation algorithm in the database. Nothing matched. The chambers appeared to be pressurized, with spectroscopic analysis showing gas signatures at densities far higher than the surrounding vacuum. Some chambers pulsed with regular pressure changes, synchronized perfectly with the object's 7.2-hour rotation period. Thermal imaging revealed the object's internal temperature was higher than its external surface readings, indicating an energy source that wasn't coming from the Sunday at six astronomical units from our star. Solar heating should barely register. Yet infrared sensors detected temperature gradients inside the chambers that pulsed in mechanical rhythm, as if powered by some internal mechanism. Structural engineers, who normally analyzed spacecraft components, were quietly brought in to consult. 
Their assessment was blunt and classified. The internal architecture of 3i Atlas resembled manufactured systems more than natural geology. The hollow structure also explained the acceleration anomaly. Pressurized chambers could serve as reaction engines, venting gas through controlled openings to generate thrust. The chemical analysis delivered revelations that forced astronomers to question fundamental assumptions about cosmic chemistry. On September 18th, the near-infrared spectrograph detected isotopic ratios of carbon and oxygen that shouldn't exist anywhere in our galaxy. The carbon-12 to carbon-13 ratio came back at values never recorded in any stellar formation process. Dr. Elena Vasquez at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics ran the isotopic data through every stellar nucleosynthesis model in the database. The ratios didn't match red giant enrichment, supernova shock processing, or even the exotic chemistry of neutron star mergers. Webb's enhanced sensitivity detected trace elements that made veteran spectroscopists question their instruments. Neodymium, europium, and terbium appeared in concentrations that defied cosmic abundance patterns. These rare Earth elements are virtually absent in natural space objects. Yet 3i Atlas showed purified concentrations that suggested industrial separation processes. The original nickel signatures now showed isotopic purity that indicated artificial refinement. Natural nickel from stellar processes comes mixed with multiple isotopes in predictable ratios. The nickel in 3i Atlas was almost monoisotopic, purified to levels that require sophisticated separation techniques. Chemical engineer Dr. James Morrison was direct in his assessment. The metal concentrations and purity levels resembled industrial stockpiles more than cosmic chemistry. European Southern Observatory teams privately circulated internal memos, admitting their models couldn't explain this composition through any known stellar or planetary formation process. But what happened next would force even the most skeptical scientists to confront possibilities they never thought they'd consider. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because the electromagnetic discoveries we're about to reveal will challenge everything you thought you knew about our place in the universe. At 0315 GMT on September 21st, Webb's radio receivers detected structured electromagnetic emissions from 3i Atlas, not random radio noise, but organized pulses transmitting at 1420 megahertz. The hydrogen line frequency that scientists consider the universal standard for interstellar communication. Dr. Rachel Torres at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory analyzed the signal patterns for 12 straight hours. The transmissions showed mathematical structure that no natural process could generate. Prime number sequences appeared first, then binary data streams in organized packets. The Arecibo Observatory and Green Bank Telescope confirmed the signals within hours. Multiple radio telescopes across three continents detected the same organized transmissions. The electromagnetic signatures were artificial, deliberate, and increasing in strength as the object approached the inner solar system. SETI researchers who had remained skeptical about 3i Atlas suddenly found themselves confronting data that matched their theoretical models for interstellar probe communications. The signals weren't directed specifically at Earth, but were omnidirectional, transmitted like a beacon. The pattern suggested status reports intended for receivers far beyond our solar system. The discovery triggered emergency protocols at NASA, the European Space Agency, and radio observatories worldwide. Internal communications leaked to science journals, revealed the depth of official concern. The signals showed sophistication that exceeded current human capabilities, pointing to technology from a civilization far more advanced than our own. Translation teams at major universities attempted to decode the binary streams using every known mathematical framework. The mathematical sequences were familiar, but the data packets remained incomprehensible as if encoded in mathematical concepts humanity hasn't yet developed. The evidence has reached a tipping point that no amount of scientific caution can ignore. 3. I-Atlas exhibits controlled acceleration 
that defies natural physics, internal geometric structures that resemble manufactured systems, chemical compositions that require industrial processing, and electromagnetic transmissions that follow mathematical protocols designed for interstellar communication. If this is indeed an artificial probe from another star system, the implications cascade far beyond astronomy. The object's sophisticated engineering suggests technology that exceeds our current capabilities by orders of magnitude. Its ability to traverse interstellar distances and execute controlled maneuvers represents achievements that human civilization may not reach for centuries. The trajectory analysis raises troubling possibilities. 3. iAtlas isn't following a random path, but making deliberate course corrections toward a specific destination, possibly within the inner solar system, where Earth orbits. The mathematical precision of the radio transmissions implies whoever built this probe expected it to encounter intelligence capable of recognizing artificial patterns. Perhaps most significant is what the probe's existence reveals about our cosmic neighborhood. If one civilization possesses the technology to send emissaries between stars, others likely do as well. 3i Atlas might be part of a larger network of interstellar probes, each gathering information about planetary systems throughout the galaxy. NASA's Planetary Defense Office has quietly elevated 3i Atlas to maximum priority status, not as an impact threat, but as a scientific wildcard that could fundamentally alter humanity's understanding of its place in the universe. The object's approach toward perihelion in early 2026 will provide our closest look at technology from another world. Every major observatory on Earth is preparing for extended observations as 3i Atlas reaches minimum distance from the Sunday. The data collected during this passage may finally decode the electromagnetic transmissions and reveal the probe's ultimate purpose. What we already know has fundamentally changed our cosmic perspective. We are not alone, and we are being observed by intelligences capable of engineering that surpasses our current understanding. 3i Atlas represents the first confirmed evidence that intelligence exists beyond Earth and has developed the capability to explore distant star systems. The question now isn't whether we're alone in the universe, it's whether we're prepared for the technological and philosophical challenges that first contact with alien intelligence will bring to human civilization. What do you think 3i Atlas really is? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video if you want to stay updated on the latest developments as this story continues to unfold.